All right, folks, so you can see here, we are uh, BIOS version. We go over here, F4. And uh, from what you saw, when I put the 11 Gen chip in, it didn't work. Matter of fact, it did all kinds of funky things to this computer. It's taken me quite a while to actually get it to boot back up. We had to change out the processor, put in the i3-10-320. And so from here, folks, we're going to go ahead and update the BIOS. Um, might as well just get it done. So we're going to go down here to QFlash. And normally, you know, I would use um, a screen recorder from another program, but uh, we're going this route. So update BIOS. And if we can find it, um, should be in this folder, Gaming X. There is the F20D, okay? This is going to give us 11th gen compatibility. Click on that. Then I'm going to click over here. Are you sure you want to update BIOS? Yes, we are. All right, so I'm hopeful that we will uh, finally get this thing working. And, uh, you know, of course, I don't have a keyboard hooked up, so let's see if we can get the mouse to do it. Yep, there we go. Okay. So at this point, you don't want to touch the computer. Let this thing go through and do its thing. I'm going to pause this until we get closer to 100%. It is starting to pick up speed, folks, any moment now. All right, so we are getting there. 94%, 95. Any moment, we'll just basically shoot to 100. If it's like most of these. 97, 98. Well, it looks like it's going to take its jolly time to get there. 99. Reboot in five seconds. So, hopefully, this is a good sign, folks. Three, two, one. Reboot. And hopefully, it'll come out of this. Now, anytime you do a BIOS update, there's always a chance that something will go south. And, um, you know, as I've I've seen uh, occasionally it happen. Um, it's not a good thing, obviously. Wrecking a motherboard uh, for something that, you know, is an easy process, but doesn't always work. And of course, you always see a lot of people that uh, do have comments that they had problems. So, um, looks like we're probably pretty good. Let's go ahead and enter the BIOS. Boot failure detected. That's not a good sign. And we did get a uh, BIOS BIOS update to F20D. So, there you go, folks. That's how you're going to do it. See, I don't have any drives hooked up. Uh, this is just the motherboard, one stick of RAM, graphics card, which we don't even need. And uh, honestly, I don't even have the, uh, the fan on the CPU. Uh, not the smartest thing in the world, but we had to get access in there to a couple things, so I'd take the fan out. But hey, there you go. Um, you now have an updated BIOS. Thanks for checking out the video. Please like, please subscribe. Thank you.